To me, my mother's reign as Quaker warden was over, but the pain of that rejection was just settling in. Hey, I just wanted to say... No. You don't have to say anything. I get it. Once again, Beverly Goldberg has screwed up your life. I mean, you did lean into the Quaker stuff pretty hard. I know. The school hasn't just been a part of your life. It's been a huge part of mine. I was so excited about having a permanent place here that I kind of went overboard. Kind of? I just can't believe our time here is ending. It is. But that's OK. I mean, everyone graduates, even parents. But what's not OK is you taking away my senior year. It's supposed to be the best time of my life. You got to let me have it. I guess the Quakers weren't wrong about honesty. You have no idea. Come with me. Mr. Woodburn, you taught me a lot about chemistry, but even more about being a man. I love you, fella. <laughs> you, you have no idea how much that means to me. You, you kids are my life. What the hell is this? Pure, unadulterated honesty. And it's beautiful. Here goes nothing. Sydney, since second grade, I've been in love with you. Say you'll give us a chance. In that same spirit of honesty, I have no idea who you are. It's been incredible. Except for Dave Kim. I mean, that was really brutal. But for the rest of us, I, there's just so much catharsis and relief. Maybe we've been missing some of the traditions that make our school special. Are you telling me you want me to stay on as Quaker warden? Oh, well, well I don't think anyone would. I accept. I, I unresign. I oh, no, Mom. Don't worry, Shmoo, I got this. Attention, your Quaker warden has an important announcement. Senior skip day is back on! <laughs> That day, thanks to my mom, we learned honesty could bring us all closer together. Sometimes you just have to be brave enough to take the first step. It's me for Micah Mike. I already hate whatever this is. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, 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 wait. I, uh, I got something to say. Let's say it. But it's difficult. How is it difficult? You're always jabbering on and on, talking over me, never listening to a word I say. It's because I'm insecure. You're insecure. You wear a crown all day. Look, years ago, I created this persona, okay, for Micah Mike, the king, okay, and it worked. Ooh, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that I'm just a schmuck with a plastic crown. Please. Why do you think I wanted to partner with you? With your business acumen and my pizzazz? But we're unstoppable. Except you don't listen to a word just say, there I go again. See, that's my problem. But starting now, I'm going to be better. I guess I could do uh, better, too, you know, telling you how I feel. Yeah, I wasn't the best. But I'll tell you, it could be. You come in tomorrow, we work this thing out together, OK? What do you say? I say, I'll see you tomorrow. There you go. Come on. Skin on skin, huh? <laughs> That's how you solve stuff. Sometimes we take even our most cherished relationships for granted. Still, it's important to remember that no matter how close you are, things change. And those bonds get tested again and again. But with a little heavy lifting and good communication, there's no reason you can't succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Well,